I don't know how to do an intro for this because this is like my first time doing a video with someone else. I'll do it. Okay. Take charge. Hey guys. <laughs> this is what you do, that's your move. All right, I'm done. Go ahead. Uh, was that play. it? <laughs> Dang, you're so, done. So. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Sid Chestnut. This is my husband, Brandon. We're going to tell how we met. But because we've told this story so many times, we're gonna spice it up a little and we're going to pick up on each other's sentences. So like, I'll start talking, randomly stop. And then I'll and just he... jump in just like that. Oh, we're already doing it. Okay. Fair warning, this is not a normal like PG story. So hide your kids. <laughs> We both remember very vividly the very first time we ever saw each other. I like to say it was love at first sight, but I'm not sure you would claim love. <laughs> Lust at first sight. Okay. Went to Purdue University, PWI, so 50,000 students, 2% are black individuals. So. so we stood out. However, I didn't really know anyone. I was not in the community at that time. I was actually in a white sorority, so. There's that. It was freshman year, my freshman year, because he's older than me. My sophomore year. Yes. And I was standing on the bus stop. It was like 7 a.m. going to communications class. I remember I had on a white button up and black pants, very businessy. And a bus was pulling up that I was about to get on. And I see this car go around the bus. And it's a group of N-I-G-G-A-S. <laughs> Black male individuals. Yes. Bumping music, crack of dawn in the morning, and this young man was hanging out the window. Q T L C Scrub is a guy that thinks he's fine. That's what I was thinking in my head when she I just called it. me a scrub, y'all. <laughs> just so y'all know. But go ahead, continue. But a beautiful scrub. Like he smiled, we looked at each other. It was a very brief moment. I had no idea who he was. But I remember just seeing him and I was like, oh, he's beautiful. And at the same time, as we're driving by, I saw her too. And I'm like, oh man. I was like, yo, she's extremely beautiful. I tapped my guys like, hey, did you guys see that girl in the corner? Blah, blah. They said no. So now they thought I was imagining things. They but, thought I wasn't real? Yeah, they did. They did. But mm -hmm. I saw you. The person who was meant to see me saw me. <laughs> Absolutely. At that point, we saw each other. That's it. Six months has passed and I haven't seen her not one day. The next time that I see her... I was in a committed relationship. I was walking into the dorm with my boyfriend and all the guys on campus were standing outside on the front yard, again, playing music, you know. And as the individual that I am, I'm very aggressive, I'm very territorial. I go after what I want. So this is my second time seeing her and I have not seen her in six months. So I have to make my move. So I went up and I said, how are you doing to her? I didn't say anything, I kept my mouth shut. But my boyfriend at the time spoke for me and said, she's fine to Brandon. Which Brandon responded with, I am going to take your bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it like that. Let me rephrase that. I'm going to take your Every bitch. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much. Yeah. yeah. Verbatim. So, yeah, we just quickly walked into the dorm. Neither one of us spoke of that event at all. Fast forward, a whole semester passes. I end up having poetry class, and my class is right across from Brandon's class. Three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I have 30 seconds to captivate her attention. And I'm still with my boyfriend. Like it's now my sophomore year of college. Um, I still don't even know his name. I just know he's a cute guy on campus that always tries to talk to me when I see him. But when I walk out of class, like every day, he 
offers to carry my books. He puts earbuds in my ear, like playing random songs that I don't know the words to, saying that's how I make him feel. Like he was just doing the most. And I still was just, you know, like entertaining it for the 30 seconds to get on the bus to go on with my day. That went on for a whole semester, which was like three and a half months. Um, I got no play, none at all. She didn't even hesitate to even show me any interest, but I was persistent, which I had to be. Uh, she's beautiful, you see that. So uh, the next time that we had a serious conversation was in a food court. And this is the first time we actually got to fill out each other's personality because we had a real conversation about- I wouldn't even say it was a conversation. It was- uh, I was never speaking to you. You interjected a conversation I was having outside of you. I feel passionate about what you were talking about. Exactly, (laughs) and gave your opinion that was not ever asked for. Absolutely, I will agree with that. But that was a tit for tat. That was our yin and yang, in my opinion. I don't know how you feel. But that made me more attracted to her. So I was like, ugh, I need her in my life. But that was that night. And then again, didn't see her for a while. Then I saw you again in my math class. We actually had math class together. And he sat behind me, maybe like two rows back. Always came in super late. This was another 7.30 in the morning class. Came in super late with like a black hoodie on with the hood all the way up. Headphones playing at least 15 minutes after the time of class starting. Never spoke. Don't forget the grill. Oh, he had grills in his teeth. 16, eight top, eight bottom, princess cuts. Sitting behind me, never spoke. And every single time we had an exam, the teacher would add the name on the board of the person that set the curve. So who, who got the highest grade in the class? And it was always a Brandon Chestnut. And I'm like, who is Brandon Chestnut? Who is this always getting the highest grade in the class? And it turned out it was him. So I was like, okay, so dark mystery boy is smart. Got it. Then fast forward to a whole bunch of time going by. Now it's been how long since we first? It's been a year and a half since we first saw each other on the bus stop. Mm -hmm. And... I was in the library and I randomly saw him and I was like, hey, why haven't you been talking to me lately? Like, why haven't I seen you? I gave up. (laughs) It was over. Hey, a man can only take no so many times, which I respected about her because she was loyal to the guy that she was dating. So it was it was bittersweet, to be honest. I was like, here's my number. And I don't even know why I gave him my number at that point. I think I was just. I was honestly like one foot out the door in my relationship anyway for multiple reasons, but I gave him my number just, I don't know. I was in a needy moment. (laughs) You see this face? But I gave you my number and you didn't use it. I didn't want to say that, but yeah, I didn't use it again because I was over it. I mean, if we're going to tell the story, we need to keep it I was over it. Again, I've tried for a year and a half and I, no, 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 no. I took a lot of L's. So... I was like, there's no point in using her number. So that's what it was. And then fast forward to her birthday, but before her birthday, so her birthday is February 2nd. So if you rewind 32 days, it's New Year's Eve. What happened New Year's Eve? My boyfriend at the time that I'd been with since high school, the whole reason I was at Purdue, he proposed on New Year's Eve at Madison Square Garden in New York. So I came back to college sophomore year engaged. So I'm like that girl who's engaged at 19 years old in college. Yes. And so her birthday, February 2nd, I'm at a outing, kicking it with my guys. Y'all remember Facebook used to get a notification when somebody's birthday hits? I think it still does. Yeah, but that's when Facebook, Facebook, that's back in 2009. So I was <coughs> Facebook was new. Anyway, I had a notification. It was Sydney's birthday. So I messaged her on Facebook and said, happy birthday. Guess what she responded back and said? (laughs) Can you come pick me up? Very direct. There was no, hi, how are you, period. I said, pick me up. (laughs) I don't even think I asked. I think I said, pick me up. Absolutely. Um (laughs) I was on my way. I didn't ask any questions. 
wanted to go pick her up. But I'm going to let her talk about that if she wants to. <clears throat> I mean, it is what it is. Um, so my birthday party was that day. It was my 19th birthday, so I wasn't old enough to go to a club or anything. So the only place we could go on campus was the hookah lounge. And my boyfriend, fiance at that time, showed up late. He was already 21. He was in a white fraternity. He'd been at the bar since 12 p.m. That was like his regular at that point in life. Um, so by the time my party happened that day, he was already wasted, showed up super late, super hammered. The bouncers didn't even want to let him in because he was so drunk. But I was like, oh, it's, this is my fiance. Like, it's my birthday. Like, let him in. He instantly goes to the bar, gets another drink, is like literally double fisting at this point. And I'm like, hey, do you really need another drink right now? And he just, I could see his eyes were glazed over. He was gone, he was done. Um, but he uppercut me, like literally uppercut me on the dance floor in front of everyone. I'm like on the ground, rolling, dry heaving. People are like throwing him out. The bouncers kicked him out. I end up picking him up. I take him back to his apartment, get him in bed. And I was just standing there looking at him when my phone went off. And that was the Facebook message from Brandon. And all I said was, come get me. Cause... Thank you, Facebook. <laughs> all I said was, come get me. Because I was just like, I was done. Okay. Did I tell you that night what happened? Oh, you told me the next morning. She, you told me the next morning. Um, but we went back to my crib, which I had some cool roommates. So we always had like a get together. And it was a weekend, so we went back to my crib. We had a party, we hung out, we got to know each other a little bit more in depth. We had to actually speak, no interference, and uh, we hit it off. It was it was dope. AK made out in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, she couldn't resist me. And I actually, I thought it was a great kiss, but. You gonna bring this up? I mean, I'm just telling the truth. Yeah, Apparently, <laughs> I got a wet mouth. It was it was extremely wet. I was a little taken aback. I'm like, okay. He wasn't ready. Was like, he wasn't oh. ready for all this. <laughs> but I got used to it. But that didn't stop him. <laughs> I got used to it. And I want to try to know. That night, after that, we've been like this. <sighs> that was a long story. It's a beautiful story. It's written in stone. It was meant to be. It's a lot of layers. Absolutely. Sorority's sister picked me up the next morning from his house. Now, I thought we did it all that night, but apparently we didn't. I don't know. I was lit at this point. I'm a point. gentleman. Have you seen Bridgerton? I'm a gentleman. <laughs> um, but I knew the only way my fiance would leave me alone is if I hooked up with another guy. So pretty much I told him that's what happened. Gave him back his ring. It was the easiest breakup of my life. I literally knocked on the door. He answered it. I said, blah, 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 blah. Gave him back his ring and got in the car with my sorority sister and legit never saw him again. Like that was it. Um, and yeah, as Brandon said, the rest is history. We were doing it for a very long time. <laughs> So for those that are wondering, the actual date is her birthday, February 2nd, 2010. That's when the chestnuts became, <laughs> became who we are today. Thank you for doing this with me. Was it that bad? No, I never knew it was gonna be that bad. It was cool. Okay. We had a good time. Good. We're still recording, you know that, right? I think we're done. We told the story. You want to go further? You were talking about the Cleveland High Electric. That could be a whole nother video. Okay, bye. Oh, oh can I do it? Can I do it? Wait. Bye. Can we do it together? Okay. One, two, three. Bye. bye.